Subtopic 4.3. Compute the inverse of a non-singular matrix using adjoint matrix, elementary row operations, and use the property of AB equals to KI. Inverse matrix. Inverse matrix. Let A be a square matrix, then inverse of A is written as A inverse. Not every square matrix has an inverse. When a matrix has an inverse, it is said to be non-singular. If it has no inverse, it is called singular. Determine whether matrix B is an inverse matrix of A. Note that matrix A multiplied with matrix A inverse is equals to identity matrix. AB is equals to identity matrix. Therefore, B equals to A inverse. Adjoint method. Let A be a square matrix. Adjoint A is defined by transposition of cofactor matrix A. Inverse of A can be found by using A inverse equals to 1 over determinant of A times adjoint A, where determinant of A cannot equal to 0. Inverse of 2 by 2 matrix. Find the inverse of matrix B by using adjoint method. First, we need to find the determinant of matrix B. As the determinant of matrix B is not equal to 0, therefore, B has an inverse matrix. Adjoint B is cofactor transpose. Then, we get B inverse. Alternative method. Inverse of 3 by 3 matrix. Given matrix B, find B inverse by using adjoint method. First, we need to find determinant of matrix B. Adjoint B is equals to cofactor transpose. Then, we get B inverse. Inverse properties. Property of AB equals to KI. Given matrix A and matrix B, it is known that AB equals to KI, where K is a constant and I is 3 by 3 identity matrix. First, we need to find the value of K, and hence, we need to deduce A inverse. AB equals to 2I, therefore, K is equals to 2. To deduce A inverse, we need to use AB equals to 2I. We multiply both sides of the equation with A inverse. Then we get A inverse. Elementary row operation, ERO. Three types of operations which apply only to rows of a matrix. Steps to get an inverse by using ERO. Let A be a square matrix. The inverse matrix of A can be found as follows. 
plot A and I side by side to form the augmented matrix. Use elementary row operation to transform A into I. The resulting matrix on the right is A inverse. Find the inverse of matrix A by using ERO. First, we need to form the augmented matrix. The idea is to change all the non-diagonal entries to be zero. If we want to change the second row, we have to remain the first row. The new second row will be for row 2 minus 3 row 1. If we want to change the first row, make sure we remain the second row. The new first row will be negative 1 row 1 minus 3 row 2. Next, we want to change all the diagonal entries to be 1. If we have the identity matrix in the left hand side, the right hand side will be the inverse matrix. Then we get A inverse. Inverse of 3 by 3 matrix by using ERO. Find the inverse of matrix D by using ERO. Find the inverse of matrix B by using ERO.